Well, John, it's a, a really big one this Saturday, the first derby day at the, the Falkirk Stadium for, for quite a few years. I am first and foremost, are you, are you looking forward to it? Absolutely. And by the size of the crowd that's uh, anticipated with the number of tickets that have been sold, I think there's a lot of fans uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, so uh, absolutely. I think, I said it last time we played uh, Dunfermline, I think Im immediately uh, after Dunfermline dropped into in League One, I think uh, it was uh, an excitement kicking about uh, that what a, what a mouth watering game that was going to be in uh, four games. Uh, so, exactly that. We're now on game two. We're at home. I thought the first game was a great game. I thought it was a brilliant game for both teams. You know, I thought we had the better of the, the first half and had good opportunities. And, uh, you know, Dunfermline were obviously still in, in the game and causing one or two problems as well. And then the second half, Dave came out, put us back a little bit, got an equaliser. And then it was, you know, both teams trying to get a winner and at, at, you know, at the end of the draw. So, uh, yeah, I thought it was a great game. Uh, obviously hoping that tomorrow's every bit as good, but we come out on top. Yeah. So, yeah, we're absolutely looking forward to it. It was good to win last Saturday, bounce back and go into the game on the back of a win. Very similar to Dunfermline, who lost uh, their game against Montrose and bounced back last week against Kentley. So both teams go in there and bounce back and... Both teams looking forward to it. Obviously, we at home we're hoping to make that count, uh, and we want to try and you know close that gap to to one point. Obviously, and we've uh, we've been looking at the, the ticket sales today, and I think there's roughly around 800 tickets left for the game, so it's going to be, be pretty full. How important is that backing for the the players on the pitch on the day? Well, hopefully the other 800 tickets will go between now and the kickoff time. You know that would be great if we could get an absolute sellout. It would be nice to see sold out. I think for the you know for the for everyone's point of view, you know financially uh, the club as well, that would be great to get a, to get a sellout. And of course the back end, we're going to have the vast majority of fans in here. If Dunfermline have 2,000 or so, then obviously we're going to have you know approximately 6,000. So uh, tremendous back end and. Uh, Hopefully we can give the fans something to shout about. Hopefully they can encourage us and uh, we can encourage them and that's what it's like in football, you know. Uh, there might be times in the game we only a lift, there might be times in the game the fans need a lift and hopefully we can we can do that and hopefully at the end of the 90 minutes it's, uh, you know, the folk of fans who are, who are the happiest and still singing and still chanting and hopefully celebrating. And obviously you mentioned the the win against Queen of the South last weekend. Obviously really, really good to bounce back um, with a, a solid performance in that game. Um, how how high is confidence given the, 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 the performances recently going into this one? Yeah, well, we were doing well up until, uh, you know, Kelty. We let ourselves down early in the game. We didn't do so badly for, you know, the rest of the game. But, you know, the start wasn't great. So, yeah, it was... Really, really important that we bounce back. You know, it shows character within the team. Difficult away game. You know, Queens would have maybe fancied their chances as well. You know, they they didn't want to fall any further behind. Uh, you know, myself, ourselves, and uh, the league leaders. So, you know, no way was it going to be an easy game. But the way we played uh, certainly put us in a really, really strong position half time and during after half time. So, good performances, good character, which is so important. You know. Uh, Strength throughout the, the team, the core of the team, very, very important. And goal threats, you know, goal threats. We looked like we could score, you know, nearly every time we went we went forward, especially in the first half. And we've got that in our locker, you know, we have got in our locker. We've had 13 different goal scorers uh, in the league, uh, 12 different goal scorers in the league, I think, and uh, 13 in the count the league cut where Aidan Nesbitt scored. So we're sharing the goals around and that's what you've got to do, you know, as I say, that many different goal scorers were not relying on one particular person. It was really good that uh, Roman got a couple of goals. Yeah, obviously, you know, I love where uh, Juan got a couple of goals, you know, so these guys are climbing up the, the goal scoring chart in the league and quite rightly so and they've definitely got goals, you know, between them and hopefully they can continue that over the you know, the games to come and, and, and particularly tomorrow. And given that this is our second game against them and some of the players here might not have experienced a, a kind of a game like that before when we played them at East End Park, do you think some of them will be more settled this time because they, they, they kind of know they have a feeling for it now? Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. There's nothing, you can't be experienced, you know, you can't be experienced in having went and played the game and uh, 
going into their backyard, going into the East End Park and playing, uh, where they had the majority of the, the fans. Uh, and yeah, you have to stand up and be counting in these situations, you know, and we've got to hope that it's a little bit more hostile tomorrow for, for Dunfermline coming here and uh, we make it really, really uh, uncomfortable for them and get our fans right behind us and, you know, hopefully that 12th man can, can make a difference. You mentioned as well with goals being shared around and um, Juan getting goals and Rumarn getting goals. I think Rumarn got two in his last game and Juan got uh, four goals um, last month as well. Going into to this game with more players kind of making a return from injury and more players to choose from, we've seen Brad McKay doing really well at, at right back. Um, does that make it really difficult for you to choose a team going into this important game? Yeah, well, I mean, we want these are nice problems for a manager when you've got. Uh, more players to choose from, players are back fit and fighting for competition, which we've got competition, you know, they've been, when we're going along quite nicely and teams winning, then it's very easy to say same again, same again, you know, when you have a couple of in different, you know, halves in the game and then maybe like a little dip in a game and then results quite not, not so good, then obviously there's no point in having competition if you're not going to put the guys in and uh, that's kind of what happened last week, we got a reaction in the second half against Kelly, we got a reaction they are uh, doing it to Dumfries and, you know, it's competition hopefully is breeding success with regards to if there's any, like, slackening at all, then, you know, there's people breathing down your neck and they're, they're going to try and get that jersey back. So I'm hoping that competition, as I, as I repeat myself, is going to breed success and that everyone's on their toes, everyone's bright, everyone's, you know, working so hard. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a good problem for myself and Paul to have. Uh, you know, hopefully still got one or two more to come back as well. Uh, so, quite happy with the squad that we've had at the moment available to us. Hopefully we don't get any more injuries. Uh, and we, we, we push on and we kick on. And just uh, in, the, in the run-up to this game as well, um, is this one maybe that you spend maybe a little bit more time looking at certain things on, or is it just the same as kind of approaching any other game? How's, how's the preparation going? Preparation have gone well. Yeah, I mean, we like to think we prepare really well for every game, you know. I don't think we've we've done a little bit more, but nothing to get carried away about, you know. It is a big game, we understand that. Uh, the players understand that, you know. We've, we will, want to be in a situation that we're looking after ourselves, you know. We're not looking for favours, you know. We didn't, you know, we come in and we have lost at Kelly, but... And families lost at Montrose. This is a game where we're in control of it, you know, we're in control of our destiny. It's up to us to go and take the game by the scruff of the neck, you know, we have to play the game, we have to focus on the game, we have to stay focused throughout the whole game. Uh, and, you know, hopefully we, uh, you know, we can have that little bit of quality, that little bit of edge, that little bit of hard work, that little bit of devilment, that little bit of aggression in their box to, to, get, to get all three points. And I know it's maybe uh, too early to, you know, decide that who's going to be maybe winning the winning the league at the end of the season. We're not at Christmas yet, but do you, do you think it's games like this that um, could make the difference come the end of the season? Well, you've seen already that there's been hiccups, you know. Uh, so you, 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 you couldn't say for sure, to be honest with you. You know, there's nothing ever been handed out, you know, the first week in November. Never ever, you know. Uh, so I think it's a we would love to close that gap, put pressure on Dunfermline, but then we play number next week, and uh, you know I, I, we've not looked at that yet. But I'm just you know the question is leading me down that road with regards to you know it'll be every bit as you know as hard as the game, and you know we've, we've seen. Uh, Head come back with two goals down against Dunfermline and get a two each draw at East End Park. So th there's, there's going to be twists and turns and swings around roundabouts and things like that all the way right through the season. I, I don't, you know, I'm say I don't see anyone running away with it, you know, don't have a crystal ball. But there's an awful lot of good teams in this league that are not going to give up, they're all going to keep fighting, and there'll be points dropped, you know, here, there, and everywhere. So it's it's up to us to be the most consistent team over the 36 games. I think that's so important that we, we realise that, uh, yeah, we want to win the game. We've never went out in a game yet. I know what to win it, you know, we, we want to win the game. 
you know, I mean, we will do our utmost to do that. And uh, you know, say hopefully we, we come out on top and we we kick on. And just lastly, I am. Um Probably might be the, the same answer as I've had in, in previous weeks, um, but in terms of uh, injuries and, and squad fitness, is any any surprises we can expect to see tomorrow? No, uh, as I mentioned last week, that there was a bereavement in Sean Mackey's family, so Sean is not being available this week. Uh, so we'll give him some time to to get over that, um, and after that, we've got everyone else. Okay, thanks, John, and all the best for tomorrow.